Sherry, how do you envisage growth in the future of this project? Well, we feel that we've got some really exciting and potentially great models for future growth. Um, the Cultural Champion Scheme, for example, that we mentioned earlier, could be funded and perhaps stand alone as a scheme for itself and rolled out across other cities. It's just it's such a simple but very effective model. It's a way of um, spreading the word in a kind of ambassadorial way. So that's one element. Another thing is that the members of the working group, many of those arts organisations, are using this as an opportunity to look at their own practice and really interrogate the way that they're engaging with communities. That means that the potential for growth in terms of the way they're connecting with older people, for example through volunteer schemes and so forth, that's something that, that can be expanded in the future. We also feel that in terms of um, a legacy and almost succession planning for the work, that we will be pulling together ideas. Um, next year, for example, there's going to be a big European conference. One of the working group members is a key player in the delivery of that. Manchester Museum and we feel that their potential for growth even beyond the UK um, opportunities may well emerge. And are the organisations tapping into the resources of their current volunteering schemes to help with growth? Absolutely, in the case of the Royal Exchange and also Manchester Art Gallery on the back of our cultural champion scheme it, it prompted them to examine the way that they were using volunteers and in the case of Manchester Museum again they're actually looking to put together an application to the Paul Hamlin Foundation in partnership with the Imperial War Museum North and that's going to be a really interesting and um, sort of integrated volunteer scheme that's even going to address issues such as personal development.